Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to do the proof of the derivative of cosine x which is minus sine x by using the limit definition of derivative. So let's start off. So d over dx cosine x by using the limit definition of derivative can be written as the limit of delta x goes to 0 cosine x sorry about that plus delta x minus cosine x over delta x so for this, we can use the trigger additional formula to expand this. So equals to limit x goes to 0 cosine x cosine delta x minus sine x sine delta x minus cosine x over delta x so we can bring the cosine x to one side or equals to limit delta x goes to 0 cosine x cosine delta x minus cosine x minus sine x sine delta x over delta x so let's split mm -hmm. into two components which is this one and this so we are split into two fractions hence we can further simplify as limit delta x goes to zero cosine x cosine delta x minus cosine x over delta x minus sine x sine delta x over delta x so equals to sorry about that so limit x goes to zero cosine x cosine delta x minus cosine x over delta x minus limit delta x goes to zero sine x sine delta x over delta x let me clear this first. So for this one, let me write to the top first. So further simplified equals to limit delta x equals to zero. Cosine x and then cosine delta x minus one over delta x minus limit so minus limit delta x goes to zero sine x sine delta x over delta x so for this so let me erase this
so for here we have learned earlier mm -hmm. on that so we have learned earlier on that limit delta x goes to zero cosine delta x minus one over delta x will give me zero whereas limit delta x goes to zero sine delta x over delta x equals to one so this is what we have learned in our trigonometric limit derivatives earlier on so for here let's bring this out first because this doesn't have mm -hmm. any delta x component so cosine x limit delta x goes to zero then cosine delta x minus one for delta x minus sine x limit delta x goes to zero sine delta x over delta x so for here this one will give me zero so this whole thing you can write as cosine x times zero minus sine x this one will give me one so you can write it as one equals to minus sine x so therefore we have proven that d over dx the derivative of cosine x can is shown to be minus sine x by using the limit definition of derivatives shown so now we have already come to the lesson to the end of this video if you have any comments please feel free to drop me a comment and i will reply to your comment thanks so much for watching and have a nice day